like the crows that return to Cleveland or the swans that come back to Capitol Well, I don't know what, what the birds that return wherever the birds. Uh, uh, I think it's the swallows. The swallows, whatever. Return to Capistrano. I, know, yeah. I have no idea. But anyways, <laughs> these guys return uh, just exactly. Uh, I know when we're going to change seasons because these uh, next guests appear at the change of the seasons. And, of course, it is Tom Grunewald and Larry Rand. And uh, it is time once again for another season and another session of the Taconic Learning Center. So, Tom and Larry, welcome and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Marshall. So, uh, this time, once again, we have uh, arrived to the fall courses for 2019. Now, when do the fall courses actually start? They, uh, most of them, Marshall, most of, most of them start uh, the third week in September. Uh, I'd have to check here to make sure that that's absolutely correct. September sixteenth is my first class. Yes, they all start during that first week. All right, so uh, the third week, yeah. excuse me. Uh, so September sixteenth basically is uh, is the week uh, of when all these all these classes start. Uh, uh, and uh, I guess my first question uh, to uh, either one of you who wants to pick it up is. Uh, what are the classes uh, that are that are highlighted uh, uh, once again as we as we head into the fall session? Well, shall I start? Yes. Uh, Monday, the September the sixteenth in the morning at Gear Village, Michael Magnifico is doing uh, episode three of his listening to great music which is uh, based on uh, some uh, DVDs uh, by. Uh, Professor Robert Greenberg examining the evolution of Western music from the Romantic period through the 20th century. 20th century. And that's followed at 1 o'clock at Gear Village by my class, Opera on Stage and on the Big Screen. I'm beginning, I'm connecting it to the Metropolitan Opera Live in HD that can be seen at uh, the movie house in Millerton and at the Mahewe in uh, Great Barrington and also at the Warner in Torrington. And I'm very excited about that class because the homework I'm doing on it is so informative and so interesting to me that I hope it is going to be so to the class. I'm sure it will, <clears throat> Tom. Uh, on uh, Tuesday, the 17th, uh, we are lucky to have Richard Reifsnyder back, uh, and he is uh, teaching a course on an exploration of the Book of Job, When Life Feels Unfair. And I'm sure Richard will be applying that in a number of different contexts, and it will be a very exciting course. Can I insert something here? He's on the board now. And I think we should acknowledge that we have lost a real stalwart of the Taconic Learning Center Board, uh, Dee Dee Simonson, who passed away, and she will be sorely missed. She certainly will. Dee Dee was, uh, uh, Dee was absolutely remarkable in what she did, and uh, I worked with her uh, for years, and uh, yes, we will miss her terribly. So getting back to the schedule, uh, the... Uh, also on Tuesday, on the 17th, uh, the first of uh, eight sessions of my course on the Supreme Court, reviewing the term of 2018 to 2019, and I've titled the course, Slow Step or Lurch to the Right. And as I am selecting cases and reading them, I'm finding it extremely interesting in that my initial um, Perception is being uh, modified a wee bit, so I think that the, we will find uh, this uh, an exceptionally interesting term. And I'll go one more day and then turn it back to you, Tom. Uh, on Wednesday, the 18th, in the morning, <clears throat> David Beiersdorfer is giving a course entitled, Are You Ready for the 2020 Election? What do you plan to do as a Republican, Democrat, or Independent to have the candidate of your choice win? I'm sure this will be of extreme interest to virtually every member uh, of TLC. In the afternoon, another political course, and uh, Robert Rumsey has been kind enough to offer a course review of Eisenhower and the 1950s, and <clears throat> the impression of uh, Eisenhower at that time 
uh, has been transformed as uh, years uh, pass, and I think that most people would love to have Eisenhower back in the White House right now. Okay, Tom, you want to continue? Well, Great Decisions is coming back, Great Decisions 2019. The course uh, continues a partnership with students and faculty from Housatonic Valley Regional High School. And um, you can download the required uh, briefing book uh, from Amazon onto your Kindle iPad, uh, or, or you can buy it. Uh, the uh, book is, unfortunately, $35, so if you have access to a digital edition, go for that. Now, uh, help me. I don't know the instructors except their last names is listed here. Can you help me? Uh... Uh, yes, Richard Collins, Tracy Atwood, and John Lizzie will be teaching this course. And are they a faculty at uh, Hoosie? Uh, well, uh, John is. And I'm not sure whether Tracy, I don't think Tracy was, mm-hmm. but Richard, of course, no. Richard, retired doctor. Um, I was going to say, Richard was my doctor many, many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say Richard was my uh, mentor uh, because he, for, uh, I don't know, five or six years, was the program director. Well, he trained you well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So in the afternoon... Do you want to uh, describe yeah, that? Yeah, we one? have Mara Wolf doing her poetry around the world. More a discussion group than an academic lecture, says Mara. And we are going to join Mara for, to learn more about poets and their remarkable views of on, on our life on Earth. So on Friday, uh, <clears throat> I will be offering in the morning uh, a... At Noble. Uh, excuse me, yes. Uh, at Noble, uh, a course, uh, it's an, another course on documentary films, and there's another one in my series on marginalized Americans. And this will use two documentary films, Jewish Americans and G.I. Jews, to examine the Jewish American experience and the tension inherent in it, specifically the tension between their desire to assimilate and their need to maintain their sense of identity. On Friday afternoon, uh, Robert Rumsey will continue the play reading course that has been uh, a staple uh, for TLC for many, many years. So we have a course for every session, every day of the week. Uh, That is to say, other than the weekend. But we're very happy with this. It's a very full um, schedule covering lots of areas. And once again, we remind uh, people that uh, you can register online for these courses as well, right? Yes, you can. Um, And uh, by the way, the simplest way to get to that, and uh, you don't even have to know much about addresses. All you have to do is to find the Taconic Learning Center website. Just type in Taconic Learning Center, and it'll come up uh, via any search engine. Uh, But it's TaconicLearningCenter.org. But once you're there, you can then click on a link and 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 register actually right by via via the website and. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, there's there's donations to become members of, of of the Taconic Learning Center, right? Tom, do you want to do that, or you want? Yeah. Well, it's a suggested donation of uh, sixty dollars, tax deductible, if the uh, IRS still lets us deduct anything. And um, it's not obligatory. It is certainly urged, and it makes you a welcome guest at any and all of the classes. And it lasts for a full year, and um, so that's three sessions. Indeed, it is. And, and what's you? Can, and by the way, if you want to make this donation, you can do that online as 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 well. Everything can be done online. Yes, I, you can. Thanks I, to Harding Bancroft, who has um, uh, made our website very efficient. You know, as as both of you can speak to it, uh, the importance I think of of the Taconic Learning Center is keeping the mind active, but also uh, keeping not only the mind active, but physically engaged by going and interacting with other people about subjects that you actually learn about. Absolutely. And uh, in all of the courses that we offer, we have a uh, social break <clears throat> of approximately 15 to 20 minutes, and people exchange uh, thoughts on the course and whatever else interests them at that moment. So it's a, 
it's a, it's a great opportunity to meet uh, new people and eat cookies. <laughs> and well, yes. <laughs> and I uh, am. Uh, I promise to cook. Um, to bake more cookies this year. I know they've been very popular in the past. So. Now, now, Tom, when you were when you were talking about doing your your research for for the opera, I, it, it came to my mind that not only is this great for the people that come and take take these classes, but also for you guys and you gals who who get together and teach this because once again you are you are researching and you are using uh, your mind and keeping yourself active. Just by by setting up the course and like with you, Tom, delving into something that that obviously you've now have delved into that you weren't quite fully aware of all the facts. Well, uh, if I if there's time, let me just say, uh, working on Madame Butterfly, which I have seen many many times and been involved with a woman who sang the role and uh, an ex-wife, and uh, as I do my research. It's based on the Madame Butterfly is based on a short story that appeared in an American magazine, which was picked up by David Belasco, who made a play of it. Puccini saw it in London and said, hey, this is my next opera. I mean, that that whole trail, that chain is fascinating to me anyway. And I think people will go to uh, the performances if they do to it in Millerton or in uh, Great Barrington, much better prepared and much more uh, ready to understand what's really going on. In line with what you said, Marshall, I would just add that <clears throat> uh, I taught at Kent School uh, for 40 years, and I taught history and constitutional law, and each year I was dealing with primarily the same material that I had taught the year before. Here, I am never doing that. <clears throat> Every year, I'm researching new cases uh, that I use that year, don't use them the next year. Each film that I present is a documentary film. I have to research and find a new film. So it really is, uh, yeah, it's stimulating for the mind. Well, once again, it's the fall session for the Deconic Learning Center. If you want to contact by telephone, it's 860-364-9363 or on the web, TaconicLearningCenter.org, or just type in Taconic Learning Center uh, in your in your bar there, and it will pop up there. Uh, but if you want to write to them, uh, Taconic Learning Center, P.O. Box 1752 in Lakeville, 06039. That is the fall session for the Taconic Learning Center. Guys, I want you to have another great uh, session, and I guess I'll check in with you again when it's time for spring. <laughs> Oh, there's winter, too. <laughs> that's right, winter, that's right. <laughs> you give everybody the summer off. All right, guys, we'll, we'll speak to you in a, in a bit. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you, Marshall. Bye-bye. <laughs>